Hey YouTube, this is Raj, and today I'm going to be talking about how to spawn bees nests and also bees in Minecraft 1.15.2. So there was a new addition to the game that allows you to basically spawn bees nests, so why don't we talk about it. So the biggest change in the 1.15.2 update is that bees nest and bees have had some modifications. The first thing is that bees nests will appear in more biomes. So there is a 0.2% chance that bees nests will show up on oak and birch trees in forest biomes, wooded hill, tall birch forest, birch forest, and birch forest hills, and tall birch hills. So, and also they'll show up 2% of the time in flower forest biomes on oak and birch trees. And the big change is that they'll show up 5% of the time on plains and sunflower plains biomes. To simplify it down from the biomes is that if you have oak or birch saplings in either plains or sunflower plain biomes and it's two blocks away from a flower, when you actually grow it with bone meal, there is a 5% chance that it'll actually spawn a bee's nest. So this means that unlike before where you actually had to harvest honeycombs or you had to transport bees nest from other biomes to where you wanted it, now you can actually spawn bees nest by actually growing trees and there's a chance those trees will have bees nest on them. So these bees nest will spawn one to two bees as part of them and bees also no longer get angered when you use silk touch to destroy their bees nest. So what we're going to do is because we're in creative world and we're in a plains biome, what we're going to do is test this out and see how this actually works and maybe see if we can um, actually harvest some bees nest. So we'll put a sapling down, we'll put a flower right here and we'll see how this works. So just throw some bone meal on it and you can see this one did not get anything. So that was attempt number one. Oh, and temp number 18, it actually worked. So as you see, I have this poppy that is two blocks away from where the sapling was. I used bone meal to actually get it to grow into a tree and a bee's nest actually appeared on it. If you hit F3, you can see which honey level it's at. Right now it's at zero, obviously. So you wanna harvest it when it's at level five. You can actually visually see this because the texture of the bee's nest will change and it'll be dripping with honey and particles will actually fall down from the bee's nest onto the ground. Now if you want to harvest the honey and also the honeycombs, you should probably put a campfire underneath like this. This will prevent the bees from actually coming out and attacking you. If you want honeycombs from it, you use shears. And if you want, um, actually, if you want honey, you have to use empty bottle. And because of the addition in 1.15.2 of the bees actually not being angered when you use silk touch on it, now you can get this bee's nest, you can uh, basically mine it by using silk touch and it will drop that and then you can take it and transport it somewhere else. You want to make sure that the bees are in there when you do it because that will make the things a lot easier. So that was how to spawn bees nests and also the changes to bees in Minecraft 1.15.2. So they were pretty important because now they allow you to actually spawn bees nests and the behavior also changes bees enough that they won't attack you when you actually try to break their bees nest. So if you're interested, I've done a lot of videos about bees, so you can check out those videos if you want more detail about bees themselves, about honeycomb, and about honey. If you're interested, you can check out those videos. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you want me to keep producing content, please give me a subscribe. You can always leave a comment. I appreciate that. And stay classy, YouTube. This is Raj.